Hey, Tom Brennan here. I'm at the beautiful Gaylord Hotel in Orlando. You know what that means? It's Enterprise Connect 2025. It's always great to be back at the Gaylord in Orlando. Uh, Enterprise Connects is one of my favorite events. And uh, it's been kind of evolving over the years and it's actually gonna be moving to Las Vegas, but uh, we'll talk about more of that later. As for this year's event, uh, really great keynotes from folks like Zoom and Cisco, RingCentral, AWS, Google, um, probably forgetting a few. Mike Massimino, who's an astronaut that worked on the Hubble telescope, was amazing, um, as well as some great panel sessions like this one, which was the CX panel. Got to see some of my colleagues present as well in the breakout rooms, got to catch up with some industry experts and uh, that were rolling out new, new solutions, and I got to play with the Apple Vision Pro to see the uh, WebEx uh, three-dimensional experience. And it's always great to catch up with old friends and make new friends. Stick around for my three key takeaways from Enterprise Connect 2025. Well, good morning. It's Thursday at Enterprise Connect. I'm exhausted, I'm losing my voice, but it's been an amazing week. Let's get to the takeaways. For my first one, I wanna talk I mean, we're going to talk about AI because that's always my first takeaway. Um, some great AI announcements here, but one of the things that surprised me a little bit is that it wasn't so much about you know massive leaps uh, forward with AI. Uh, there was mentions of agentic AI. There was a few things that were shown, um, but it, it, it wasn't as much of a focus as I thought it might be. And this is a good thing because we're not quite ready for that yet. We're still getting used to the generative AI tools and all the um, amazing functionality that spawned over the last two to three years. Um, we saw announcements from um, Microsoft, from Zoom, um, in the collaboration space, as well as WebEx. We saw a lot of contact center announcements from folks like Five9 um, and Nice um, doing some really cool things, but they're really more about making AI more proactive, making it more uh, accessible um, and frankly, more usable uh, for, for end users in and out of the contact center uh, throughout the organization. So I think this is, a, this is a really good step to see these technologies begin to mature. They're, they're put out there and then they're kind of iterated on uh, to, make them, to make them overall more effective. So really cool stuff about AI uh, without going too crazy into the future, uh, which I think is a, a great trend. For my second takeaway, I just want to talk about vertical specialization for a minute. Um, this is something I've been seeing at some other events, um, but companies are really beginning to kind of dive into kind of vertical spaces. Now we've, we've seen this in the past, but usually it was more of a marketing focus, like we're going to focus our efforts on maybe four or five verticals, healthcare, retail, financial services, whatever uh, they, they choose. Um, but there's not a huge amount of, it's like go out and sell it and then figure out how to integrate with some of these systems and, uh, and make it work after the fact. Um, and we're seeing them kind of being a little bit more proactive in these areas, not just building marketing around something like say healthcare, but building tools and customizing tools uh, that integrate in those environments and solve some of the challenges that are unique to those environments. Um, a couple of examples, uh, TalkDesk talked about their um, Epic integration in healthcare is something that's really needed to, to tie together kind of health record systems as well as uh, uh, with the communication systems. So um, I thought that was really cool. There was stuff from, from Cisco, there was stuff from uh, uh, Zoom, there was stuff from, uh, yeah, you name it, they were all kind of beginning to really push into vertical markets uh, as being very strategic to them. Um, so that they're not just kind of coming in and saying, well, here's a new contact center in the cloud, um, but actually here are some tools that are customized and optimized to solve your kind of unique challenges. Um, I love this and I know it's an area I'll, I'll be diving into uh, throughout the year. For my final takeaway, I want to talk about the event itself. Um, it's been a great week here. There's been a lot of energy, but it has felt a little smaller um, than years past. Um, uh, there are a fair amount of customers here, but maybe not quite as many um, as they used to have. And I don't think that's a reflection on Enterprise Connect or the value it brings. Quite frankly, I think end users should be here in mass to 
uh, to really get up to speed on AI because um, it is kind of complicated and sometimes it's hard to communicate over a, over a you know a Zoom call. It should be here, but but there's a lot that aren't here, um, and it's becoming a little bit more of a less of a customer event and more just of an industry event, um, and and that's okay. Uh, but it means the show floor is a little lighter, um, and it means that there's really been more of a focus on one-on-one -on -one meetings and, and kind of private briefings and less about kind of driving traffic to the show floor. Um, and that's fine. And um, if you haven't heard, Enterprise Connect will be moving next year to Vegas. Um, and the director of Enterprise Connect, uh, Eric Kraps, kind of hinted that having a new location might give them some more flexibility and more capability to of reconfigure what the event is um, in a new space um, and be able to kind of reimagine what what that could be. So I think it, you know, we may see more of that. We may see a little bit less of the uh, traditional trade show booths. I'm, I'm sure they'll still be there, but it'll be uh, kind of a less of a focus um, and, uh, and they'll maybe have a little bit better setup uh, to support kind of the other things that go on um, uh, during the event. Um, the Gaylord's a wonderful place. I, I kind of enjoy being here. Uh, but everything's kind of spread out in the meeting rooms. Some are over here, some are over here. And uh, it, it's, it's kind of hard to run back and forth to all this stuff. But um, I really hope that the new format in the new city maybe inject some energy too into the, the thing. I think he said they've been here almost 20 years and you know, you know, maybe, the, maybe the change will be good. Um, we will see how it all works out, but um, you know, I'm already looking forward to it. And um, it's been such an important event to me and, to, uh, to all the people that I met this week, I just want to thank you for making time to sit down. I made so many great new relationships, and ultimately, that's why we come. Anyway, thanks so much for watching the video, uh, and we'll see you next time on On Convergence.